where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there Transformers fans and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review and today we are reviewing the new Transformers Legacy Evolution Junkion Detritus. The Junkion that's the least junky of all of the Junkions and he's pretty much been like that kind of ever since this character was created and it's also interesting that we got a hound repaint before we got a new earth mode hound now i'm aware of the rumors that there was potentially going to be a studio 86 hound and that's what everybody was expecting before detritus came out and i mean now that we have detritus i highly doubt that hasbro is going to release a figure based off of hound and then not release hound that that just that's too silly even for them. So just be patient. I'm sure we'll have a nice new Earth Mode Hound soon. But for now, we have Detritus. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm honestly more excited that we got a new Detritus figure than we got a new Hound figure. And hear me out. Please don't hound me in the comments. What I mean by that is we've gotten some pretty decent modern hound updates in the past few decades whereas detritus has only had one figure ever prior to this one and that was i want to say a takara exclusive too so i think this is his first official united states retail release to my knowledge if somebody knows if there's been one previously please feel free to th throw that in the comments but to my knowledge, this is the first official stateside release of a Detritus figure, which is also very nice, and I do really like the new mold. And like I said, we've we've had some nice updated hounds recently, and I'm not talking about Siege specifically, and I'm also not talking about the Transformers the movie updated deco of the G1 toy. Specifically, I'm talking about the Universe 2.0 hound that we got in around, let's say it was like 2008, 2009. That was a pretty good figure. In fact, that's the Hound I still have in my collection. I like that figure quite a lot. I'm looking forward to a nice new update, but in my opinion, there's nothing really wrong with the Universe 2.01. Could it be a little bit more generational and accurate? Sure, and that's definitely why I'm looking forward to a nice new update and looking forward to the repaint of this, but um, I mean, I could be a little bit more patient. I'm just glad that we got this unique character because this is a pretty cool figure. So anyway, here he is in the packaging. You got some artwork of his Jeep mode right there on the front. On the side, you've got a close-up and a nice shot of his robot mode and that Legacy Evolution artwork. On this side, you've got the Legacy Evolution banner. On the back, you've got images of the figure in both modes. And that's pretty much it for the packaging and here he is out of the packaging and he looks pretty cool in that kind of beige cream color and you got some other browns in there because he is supposed to be a junkie on so he's got to have some like rusty looking color scheme right now this character isn't specifically affiliated with Autobots or Decepticons. He in fact has both factional symbols. So right here on his shoulder, he's got an Autobot symbol. Right here behind his head, he's got a Decepticon symbol. Now the main one that's visible in his robot mode is his Autobot symbol. And the only one that's visible while he's in his vehicle mode is his Decepticon symbol, which is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of Double Dealer a little bit where his robot mode is his Autobot mode and his Condor mode is his Decepticon mode because he plays both sides because he's a mercenary also. Now, I wonder what it is with Transformers and Jeep characters that are arms dealers because, you know, if, if I had a nickel for every time we had a Jeep character that's an arms dealer, I'd have two nickels, but it's weird that it happened twice. And just like Swindle, he's a Jeep and he's an arms dealer. Now, I don't think he's as notorious as Swindle, but still, it's just kind of a funny detail to note. He is fully articulated, head is on a ball joint, fully articulated shoulders, upper biceps, single jointed elbows, swivel wrist joints. He does come with both of his weapons, 
his shoulder mounted rocket. The rocket is removable, just pegs on right there and pegs on where it's supposed to. And his blaster, which is also just like Hound's. And it's funny to note, this isn't even the only figure to come out this year with Hound's weapons. We've had two figures come out this year with Hound's weapons, one of them being a Hound repaint and the other one being the Legacy Evolution G2 Toxitron Jazz figure. So not only have we not gotten the new Hound yet, but we've gotten a Hound repaint and two figures with Hound's weapons. I mean, obviously the Hound repaint would probably come with his weapons, sure, because the original one did too, but it's just funny to note that once again, <laughs> we got these weapons twice and still no Hound yet. But like I said, just be patient. I'm sure he's coming very, very soon, just waiting on that announcement, and it, it's probably coming any day now. Going back to articulation, we've got waist articulation, hips, upper thigh, single joint and knees, side ankle joints, and you can kind of bring the foot up if you bring the ankle down. It doesn't really articulate down unless you kind of force it. There you go but it articulates up due to transformation. Speaking of transformation, transformation is pretty simple and straightforward. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by removing these weapons here. We're going to untab these shoulder sections and bring up this whole front section of the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and close this hood. We're gonna go ahead and peg in the windshield and we're gonna go ahead and fold these arms in like so. Go ahead and bring them forward just a little bit if you like. And then we're gonna come over here to the legs, grab this little section right here and bring that all the way out. Do the same thing over here. So there's some similarity between how the Earth Mode version of the Hound Mold, the Siege version of the Hound Mold transform, but they're not exactly the same. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're going to fold this whole section up over the thigh like so. We're gonna go ahead and tab these rear sections together and then we're going to tab these front wheel sections into the side of the Jeep. Go ahead and fold in the feet and then over here on the bottom we're going to rotate these forearms so they're facing like so and then those are going to tab in securing that all together and then you take his weapons and just plug them on the back of the Jeep and there is detritus in his Jeep mode. It's pretty simple. The back section is a little hollow on this Jeep mode. It's probably my only real complaint about this Jeep mode but other than that it looks pretty decent looks like hound looks like a jeep it's not too bad guys thank you so much for tuning in to today's review featuring the new transformers legacy evolution detritus figure what do you think of detritus is this a figure that you've been looking forward to getting a modern update especially with hasbro's focus on junkion characters lately not only bringing back older junkions from generation one including characters that never got figures in the past or characters that didn't have very G1 accurate designs in the past, which also included the Takara release of Detritus, or were you more excited about Hound and you're just impatiently excited and just eager to get that new Hound figure? Trust me, I get it. I definitely wanna see the new modern update to Hound. Overall, I think the new mold for him is gonna be pretty good. I just gotta see it in green now. Gotta see it in green. Where's Hound at? got to get that hound announcement soon but like i said we just got to be patient i'm sure it's coming any day now because they're not going to do a brand new hound mold and then not release hound right right i hope yeah we'll see i'm sure it'll come out soon anyway stay tuned for more transformers reviews check out some of our other content check out our sister website cool toy review Dot com for all kinds of awesome toy news, reviews, and more. And like and subscribe to the Cool Toy Review YouTube channel as well. If you like Star Wars content, check out rebelscum.com, the world's oldest and largest Star Wars fan website not owned by Disney. And like and subscribe to the rebelscum.com YouTube channel for all kinds of awesome Star Wars toy reviews and other video content. 
If you're looking for some awesome toys and merch, come visit us inside Order 66 Multiverse in the shops at Willoughbyn Mall in Plano, Texas, which also houses Order 66 Toys, the world's official all-collectible Star Wars toy store. And in case you're not local, they go live every single Friday night at 7 p.m. Central Time on the Order 66 Toys YouTube channel, and they ship all around the world. Check out CollectorsOracle.com, our free archival website. We don't have any Transformers on there yet. It's mostly all Star Wars right now, but there's a lot of Star Wars toy lines and collectible lines on there for you to not only archive in your collection, but items you can mark that you would like to have in your collection, and you can share those lists with friends, family, and social media alike, and it's all absolutely free. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out. Game over, man. Game over.